Ladies and gentlemen of the Spokane Anarchy Wrestling Universe, I am sitting by 16 days from WrestleRave 10 with my guests tonight, Tommy Rush and the dynamic Rook Kelly. We have an exclusive interview tonight to, to answer some questions that a lot of people have been wanting to, to know about. Now, Tommy, my first question to you is, when you took a hiatus from the company, where exactly did you go? It's very simply where I went. I didn't go anywhere. I simply scouted talent. I looked around for the best opportunity it was to come back. I looked for who was going to be a thoroughbred, who was going to take this company to the top, who I could latch myself onto to take this company to the top. And I saw Rook Kelly, the former SAW heavyweight champion, the former longest reigning SAW heavyweight champion, who then was very moments away from grasping that championship. And I promised that night when he won that championship, he would elevate the equity of the inner city division. And he has done just that. Those are some very strong words, Tommy. Um, I guess my next question for you, well, I guess rather than a question, I, I would like to make it clear. We've watched the Battle Tank Alistar for two years, chasing that belt, chasing it. And every single time it gets within his grasp, something seems to take the belt away from him. Now, it's never been quite the, the clean fall that it might take to prove that Rook Kelly... Let me stop you there. You got it. Clean fall. All that matters in this business is the W. It doesn't matter how you do it. It's just like sports. People want to talk about in football, how many yards this man run, how many passes this guy did. What doesn't matter? If you can't get the win, your stats don't mean anything. Alistair can have all the people in the building love him can sell all the crappy t-shirts he wants, and come up with all the stupid catch names, the battle tank that he wants, but he doesn't win when it counts. He fails at the big one. Just like every single time he gets in the ring with Rook, Rook walks out the inner city champion. Three times now. And the other problem with Alistair is he doesn't think. He's not the smartest man in the room. Because if he was, he'd realize letting his twit of a manager talk him into an I quit match with a submissions wrestler, a submissions expert, who by WrestleRave 10, it will mark the 154th day of his championship reign. And guess what? When the end of the night, by the end of the night, we're going to go on to day 155, 156. We're going to go all the way to the top because Rook Kelly's probably never going to lose this championship as long as... I, I have to cut you off there, Tommy. You said he probably won't lose this championship. Now... It's a very interesting dynamic, no pun intended, to this upcoming match that uh, the loser leaves town. And now you say he probably won't lose that championship. And my question to you, Tommy, is what happens if Rook Kelly does indeed lose the inner city championship? Big if. Big if. And by probably, what I mean by probably is it would take a severe injury for him to ever lose. He'd have to vacate the belt by the time it actually changed the hands ever again. Rook Kelly mowed through the heavyweight division. So what did he do? He went to the inner city division. And who's been able to touch him? Nobody. In the whole company of SAW, the heavyweight championship, the tag team championship, there isn't a champion who's held onto his belt longer than Rook Kelly. He is the most winning, winningest champion that this company has. He is the shining star. And this belt, this inner city championship, is the most important title because he holds it. Now- That, that doesn't quite answer the question though, Tommy, and I, I feel some sort of a diversion tactic going. Uh, I don't mean to cut you off again, but I have to ask once again, what does that mean though, if he loses, Tommy? Because as far as I'm concerned, and as far as all of our fans are concerned, if, and though it might be a big if in your eyes and the eyes of many, if he does lose, your relationship with Rook Kelly is ended. What's next for you if Rook Kelly does indeed have to leave town? Make something very clear right now. Rook Kelly will never lose the SAW Undisputed Inner Cities Championship. In fact, I am so confident that Rook will walk out as champion. I would bet my managerial career that Rook will make the battle tank squeal the words I quit like a little pig. So what you're essentially saying to us right now, Tommy, is that you are indeed willing to bet your managerial career on the Alistar, the battle tank Alistar 
losing that match. You are actually willing to sit here and say you are willing to bet your managerial career. Now, I love betting, Tommy, and I'm willing to take that bet. Are you honestly willing to put your managerial career and all of the enterprise on the line with your faith on Rook Kelly? I don't take risks. All I've ever had is faith in Rook Kelly. And as a result of that faith, he has yet to prove me wrong. He is yet to lie to anyone. Month after month, we tell people, Rook Kelly will walk out of this building still your SAW Inner City Champion. July 9th will be no different. So yes, I am willing to bet my managerial career. If Rook Kelly leaves town, Tommy Rush will leave SAW as a manager because there is no chance in hell that Alistair is walking out with that championship. He failed three times. Fourth time won't be any different. Alistair is a failure. He's a great athlete. The fans love him. That's great. But you know what he does better than getting over with these fans? He's really good at losing, because you know why? Not everyone can be special. There has to be people for guys like Rook Kelly, because guys like Rook Kelly win. Guys like me and Rook Kelly, we are the shining stars. Guys like Alistair, they know their place. They come close, but they never quite get it done. So yes, I will bet my managerial career, I will disband the entire enterprise if by some godsaken miracle, Rook Kelly utters the words, I quit. Now, I only have one more question for you tonight, Tommy, and it's uh, to get your perspective. At WrestleRave 10, you will be barred from ringside, which means all the tricks aside, everything aside, Rook Kelly has to go out and he has to prove that one-on-one -on -one he can take the Battle Tank Alistar not only to the limit, but one-on-one -on -one with no assistance from you, no assistance from the Enterprise that Rook Kelly can indeed prove he is a fighting champion and retain that belt. Is there any concern whatsoever that your, your usual tactics will not be allowed? Before I go full into that, let me ask you a counter question, just one. Absolutely. How many times has Rook Kelly held this championship? Three times, is it, is it my No, correct? it's once. Once? Once. And do you know why it's once? Alistair's held the title one, twice. He's held the title twice now that I recall. And you know why? That means he's lost twice. Rook Kelly has never lost this championship. So here's the deal. I don't have to be at ringside with Rook Kelly. The Enterprise doesn't have to be at ringside with Rook Kelly. The fact that I am at ringside is just a treat for people. They should feel honored and blessed on that. But I don't need to be at ringside with them. Rook Kelly doesn't need anybody but Rook Kelly to beat anyone on any given day on this planet. Well, that's all the questions I have for you, Tommy. Uh, I'd like to thank you. I'd like to thank you as well, Rook. See you guys at WrestleRave. Ladies and gentlemen, Tommy Rush, Rook Kelly, The Enterprise.